it's been a minute the last time i created a video there was a lot of like sad stuff happening since then life has changed i got married in 2021 i started a new career path i quit my job i was working at Neutrogena doing beauty marketing and switch to R&D, cosmetic chemistry. Um, and I know that switch isn't like, you can't just go into becoming an R&D person overnight. So I I'm in school. I am studying how to become a cosmetic chemist to create skincare products, hair care products, personal care products. Um, I'm studying microbiology at the moment. That's the unit I'm on, bacteria, yeast, mold. Whatever, I'm not gonna talk much anymore, so I'll just vlog style it in this video, kind of show you around what my life is like lately, which has been kind of, you know, mellow. We're in a freaking global pandemic still, so a lot of indoor stuff. We are at H Mart. I just completely failed vlogging what we bought at H Mart or our experience at H Mart, so we're just gonna do a haul. <laughs> Gochujang flavored shrimp chips, green onion, red peppers, Chinese greens. This is Gailan, Yu Choi, Bok Choi. Fish cake, Asian style soy milk, marinated meat. A lot of people definitely won't know this, but this is salted cod roe, and it's the best thing when you put it with white rice. This is also another thing that people need to know about. This is preserved winter melon. You know when you buy winter melon tea for like three dollars at three dollars, like six dollars. I don't know, like meat fresh or something like that. This whole block makes like ten to twelve servings of winter melon tea, and this whole block was three something. So this is the takeaway: some rock sugar, black bean, <clears throat> garlic sauce, two lap churn packs. Okay, this is also a wild card. I never get this. I'm looking for preserved egg, but I couldn't find it. I don't know if this is the same thing, but this is preserved duck eggs. Black soybeans. Oh. I'm sorry, it's not sesame milk. Damn. Black soybean, soybean, soy milk, and then this is the classic chrysanthemum drink, but this is less sugar. cannot get myself to study. I barely study today. It's one of those days, but let's be real, I have one of those days all the time. I decided instead of feeling bad about myself, I'm gonna do my nails. I am doing Gel X nails. I'm doing fake tips um, with gel polish today. I went for pink. Okay, so these are super cute, obviously, just pink, but then, you see? I did a little bit of a design situation right now. I did pink all over, and then I did baby pink and a sparkly pink crossover at the tip. It's currently 1.34 a.m., and I finally, your girl finally finished her nails. Can we take a look at them? I love them. I mean, of course, I'm not a nail technician, and wow, I still think I did a good job. I think it's only up from here, so. Ontario girl! <laughs> well, I would say good morning, but it is definitely afternoon. Oh, Gina wants to say good morning. Okay, so I am dyeing my hair. I am using this brand called Pravana Chromo Silk and the colors, I believe, Topaz, Blue Topaz. I know professionally you're supposed to do this in sections and people usually start with the under hairs first, but I don't have that much dye and I have honestly so much hair, so I'm just starting from the top where it's most visible. Um, that way at least the visible parts are colored. There you go. My hair is done. Uneven patches, but we'll just go with it. It's less greeny than it was before. That's all I was going for. That's all I was trying to achieve. How's the back? I don't know. I guess I'll find out when I'm editing this clip. I'm gonna try on my cottagecore dress. Um, I'm not gonna explain what cottagecore is, but... <laughs> <laughs> peasant core? It's not peasant it's core. Peasant dressing. If you look it up on Google, I guess I'm explaining it. It's basically... A idealized rural life. 
and <laughs> <laughs> look, it's it's a thing, okay? My birthday theme next week, my birthday picnic is cottage choir because I'm turning 29 and why would I have a lame birthday when I could have it themed? I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit more on the peasant side of the spectrum than I wanted. I haven't put this on since I got it. I have to make sure it fits still. Yeah, it fits. I'm debating what shoes to wear with these. You I think it's freaking shoes. cute. What are you debating? No, I did buy shoes, but Megan was saying it's not cottage y It's like modern. What? Oh, she needs to scuff it up a little bit to look more peasant. Speaking of my birthday, we are in my little lab and I created these soaps and they smell so good. It's like apple and sage fragrance and I can't wait to pack these up in like cute little brown um, craft paper and give them out as party favors to my friends who are coming to my birthday picnic next week. Ending the vlog here, and we will see you in the next vlog. Bye!